learned already that names don't constitute knowledge, that they're knowing the name of something. That's caused me a certain trouble since, because I refuse to learn the name of anything. So when someone comes in and says, uh, you got any explanation for the Fitzclonan experiment? I says, what, what, what's that? He says, you know, that the long-lived K meson disintegrates into two pies. Oh, oh, yes, now I know. But I never know the names of things. What he forgot to tell me was that the knowing the names of things is useful if you want to talk to somebody else. <laughs> so you tell them what you're talking about. But the basic principle of knowing about something rather than just knowing its name is something that you stuck to, is it? Yes, of course. It's, well, you have to learn. These are kind of disciplines in the field of science that you have to learn. That to know when you know and when you don't know and what it is you know and what it is you don't know. And it's, uh, you've got to be very careful not to confuse yourself. Hi guys, how are you? My name is one Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macro Economics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro and Patreon.com slash BKC, Baron Uncle Charting. All right, so let's do uh, another video, and this time I'm going to debunk um, some of these guys on the internet with their uh, technical analysis and in trading, investing, and Quit your day job, six minute abs, <laughs> idiots uh, that are out there. I came across this uh, tweet that popped up and says you should follow th you know, this person. And then that person, I looked in and said, oh, you know, here's a list of all the wonderful guys I learned so much from. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? And uh, sure enough, I, you know, I clicked on those names and I went through them and I saw... The, the dumbest things in the world about charting and uh, you know moving averages and candlesticks and all this nonsense and you know this is here and here's an arrow and this arrow over here is red and this one is green and the volume and the moving average of the volume and I was like what the fuck now I'm old enough to remember the Commodore 64 and I grew up uh, watching this evolve over time and uh, sure enough, over the 25 years, I was you know, completely ignorant to investing and macroeconomics and charting and everything. So I found these guys um, who were, um, you know, they were gurus and, you know, dot com bubble and all these day traders quit your day job. And, uh, and I fell victim to these idiots. OK. And uh, eventually, you know, using the scientific method. <laughs> Keep what works, stay away from what doesn't, right? Very simple. Uh, I concluded that the only way you can really read a chart is just by looking at it, right? You should be able to interpret a chart just by looking at the price movement. It doesn't matter if it's candlestick or if it's, you know, a line, what, whatever it is. This is all you need if you really want to understand money flows or you want to understand what the chart is doing uh, and what's going on. So, um... If you are using your hard-earned money to go out and trade without understanding how to read a chart that's right in front of you, just nice, simple, bare knuckle, naked chart. If you can't read the naked chart, you got no business trading your hard-earned money. You will lose it. And if you're a fifter, you know, 50-50 chance of getting something right and you do eventually, you know, make some money out of you know sheer fucking luck okay you're going to lose that money plus three times more okay you'll just keep putting fucking quarters into the machine and the machine is not going to give you any fucking quarters back if you don't know how to understand macroeconomics the real kind of macroeconomics you're gonna keep putting quarters in and you're not gonna get any quarters back i'm telling you right now you can just send me your money, no problem, I'll take it, I'll fly wherever you are, I'll kick you in your little baby nuts, you, you, you'll have the same uh, outcome uh, in the end of the day. I'll just save you all the grief and the time to sit here um, trading. So here's what I'm talking about. I don't know what the fuck this chart is, okay? This, this... Okay, let me explain something to you about salesmanship and marketing. When you follow these kinds of people and they're showing you 10 million fucking things moving up and down and left and right and arrows and volumes and, okay, 
candlesticks and formations and RSIs, whatever the fuck he's got on there. What they are doing is that they will confuse you with all these different things, with all these little hidden meanings and candlesticks, formations, and spinning tops, and whatever. And you'll be sitting there, because you don't know any better, you're going to be sitting there, like, you know, following every single thing that they say, and, uh, you know, listening to every cute story that they have, and you'll be like, oh, okay, let, let me write this down now. What is that? Oh, okay, let me look at this chart. And Okay, let me go now. And, and there's a certain amount of fun in discovering something, okay? Uh, the problem is what you're discovering is just fantasies. And th this has nothing to do with investing and trading. This is just garbage, okay? Um, so th the, fun of, the fun part is obviously discovering what you think you're discovering. You, you just haven't discovered it yet. Uh, definitely that's fun um, but in reality you're wasting your time because what you're learning is fantasies okay little red arrows here this means something here you know when these things mean something oh look it rolled over over here it rolled over too you know when this means something after the fact you see it's very appealing to the eye after the fact I can go back on any chart and sell you a fucking story like you wouldn't believe but nobody can do it in real time. These things don't work in real time, okay? And when you try to mimic it, you're trying to apply this garbage, you'll never be successful. You know why? Because what he's gonna tell you or she's gonna tell you after the fact, oh, you didn't look at this. You didn't see this? You didn't see that? Yeah, that's what you should have been. Oh, no, 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 oh, come on. This was embedded in here. You should have known. You should have known that this was fine. Everything was great. Oh, come on. You were expecting it down. Yeah, see, you don't understand the charts. There will always be something in this fucking chart, wherever it is, something somewhere, that you're not going to get. And you're always going to be behind. And you're always going to be the student in the class that never fucking gets it. Okay? Until eventually you get tired, and you give up, and you lose your money, and you walk away, and you're just like, fuck this. Here's another one. Here's another one. Different colors, move volume, and it's 3.1 million, and over here is 2.4, as if it means something. There's a moving average. All these things going like this, and moving averages everywhere, and get this, and look at that, and selling you fucking stories, and you're sitting there studying them. You're wasting your fucking time. Okay? This doesn't mean anything. This is garbage. Garbage. Look at this. A bearish power earnings gap. Woo! Yeah. What <laughs> What value does that have? Nothing. Okay? It's just stories. They'll tell you after the fact about all these things back here, but never will be able to tell you what is likely. And nobody knows what the future is going to do, right? Uh, what is likely to happen. Okay? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You know how many followers these people have? 120,000, 90,000, 110,000. Imagine how many people are being scammed. Imagine. And what happens is, they, you know, these the mindless sheep, they start to pile in the same corner, and then the other mindless sheep say, oh, this must be good. And then they start piling in, and then you have a whole bunch of people piling into the garbage. Well, you know, human nature, I guess. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to take you back all the way back to September 16. And this is this is what I do, okay? Uh, I can take a chart, I can mark it up like an x-ray, uh, look at it and tell you what's likely to happen. Am I always right? Fuck no. Nobody is, okay? But I'm right more often than not where I make a profit, okay? And that's why my trades to my subscribers are all in real time, live uh, and not hindsight with a whole bunch of things all over the place and oh let me tell you all about this and let me tell you all about that and this one is an earnings gap and this is a power gap or whatever the fuck you called it and look at the RSI here and no, then no, no, no. this is not the way it works <laughs> okay it's one thing to sell a story after the fact and another thing to do it in real time
Okay, that's that's where that's where the fucking you know beauty comes in. And even though it might seem simple, okay, what I'm about to show you is it's not that simple. You gotta train your eyes. You gotta train yourself to learn how to read these things. So you get a nice little thrust down move. You get a first counter move. Okay, this is what we call a two. Then you get this formation right there. Okay, so you have four points right in here. Okay, you have sufficient amount of hook where this is now uh, valid. Okay, the top trend line is valid. So whenever you get this kind of a formation, which is a thrust up, a move up structure, such as this one, which is a flag, it's a bear flag, that's all it is. What likely is going to happen next is that price is going to come down. And that's what this is showing, right? And this is this is what I showed to my subscribers in real time. So this is not something that I picked out of the blue and blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can see it down here. All right, this is from my messenger. So it's not something that I just randomly chose to, to show you today. All right, so I'm just going to progress through some of my slides here. The next slide is uh, analyzing China, and you can see there was a head and shoulders. You saw there was a nice tight, tight, tight move up. You had an M pattern is what we call this is an M pattern. Okay, and it's starting to break down. So this is looking like it wants to come down as well. So we have the NASDAQ looking like it wants to come down. Now we have China that looks like it wants to come down. And that's why I put the question mark here. Like, okay, is this what's going to happen next? Right? So we're starting to gather the, the evidence as to what's likely going to happen next. Then we take a look at the S&P 500, and sure enough, that has the same kind of uh, formation. Here is where, you know, we had the one, two, three up, never quite touched the top, and then it just fell apart. Okay. Um, and then we went through this sideways motion. We created this structure. It broke out in a nice little tight, 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 move up, and then it started to break down. So this was looking like it was going to start to fall. So you start seeing that China, US, S&P, NASDAQ, everything's starting to, to, to rhyme, okay? Then we took a look at the FAGs. The FAGs are, you know, the, the, the market leaders, okay? We could have made an argument this was a cup and handle. The problem was that this started to fail, okay? So as it started to fail, it went to a wedge. Well, guess what? This was looking like it was getting ready to start going down as well. So this didn't look very healthy, okay? Usually when structures point one direction, the market does the opposite, all right? Um, so again, you know, putting the pieces of the puzzle, reading the markets across the board uh, and seeing what's likely to happen next. As the, uh, the time progressed, we got a drop, a pop, and now we're building this little flag in here. So usually what happens is when you start breaking down from structures, you'll get a one, two, three down. And if this is going to go one, two, three down, this whole structure in here is invalid, right? So this is confirming that the likelihood is that we are going lower. Then I took a look at the uh, German DAX and sure enough, you know, what does it reveal? Lower lows, I'm sorry, lower highs, right? And this started to roll over. So this was not looking very healthy either. So this is confirming what our bias is, right? That that more likely than not, this is going to start to correct. Took a look at the uh, UK FTSE 100, okay? So we had the, the formation, it broke down from here, it went sideways, and this is what I mean, that you can never tell exactly what's gonna happen, okay? We had one more up, one more up, and then boom, the whole thing just collapsed. So, you know, sometimes you have to take some pain, right? It depends on the situation, but uh, it, it doesn't mean that your analysis is necessarily wrong. It's just not going to happen the way you think it's going to happen. You know, markets don't move like this, okay? They do some crazy shit in between. So, um, again, this is a perfect example. But sure enough, you got a thrust down move. This is a two, okay? So this is a one, this is a two, and then the next likely move is going to be a three. Why? Because the structure is going this way. And the market is going to do the opposite of what the structure is going to do about 70% of the time, okay? So while I have a lot of drawings in here and so forth, the bigger structures are always the ones that matter, which is this one right in here. 
this is the one that matters okay so you see you had a one two three up and then what happens when you have a one two three up well usually 70 percent of the time it's going to start to fall apart because it's pointing one way and then it's going to do the other and this is when you have a deep understanding about charts and price action and money flows and macroeconomics you can see these things you get used to it okay but you're, you're not going to see it once or twice and be like oh yeah i can go do it do, 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 and go <laughs> it doesn't work like that you got to practice it and it takes a long time to do it in real time okay it takes practice i mean just getting guys to not uh, analyze every little wiggle in the market is is extremely difficult extremely difficult okay um, when, when the charts are not doing what they're supposed to do, that means they're doing something that is much bigger than what you're analyzing, okay? Uh, and that's when it should give you a clue when things are not going the way they should. So, for example, in, in, in this uh, example, the real move ended up being this, one, two, three, up. And it created this rising wedge, which did what? It corrected to the downside. This was a one, two, three, up, and then it started to correct back down. See what I'm saying? And then the the cumulative movement altogether created this rising wedge, which did what? Re resolved to the downside. So you can see what I'm talking about, that you need to practice. You need to spend time on it. You, know, to, you need to keep looking at charts, looking at charts, doing it in real time, seeing how it plays out, see where your mistakes are, correct them, right? And you don't want to be doing that with real money. You want to be doing that with a practice account. And that's why I'm telling you, what those other guys are showing you is absolute garbage. It's nonsense. The only purest thing that you can you can analyze is price. That's it. The only thing that, that matters is, is, is price, the, the amount of price that you bought or sold uh, or shorted, uh, and where you cover and where you take your profits. That's the only two prices that matter. And if you use a simple one, two, three system, start out slowly and then slowly build up and start learning how to analyze the charts, uh, then it just becomes habit. You just look at it and you're like, okay, this is what's going to likely happen. But again, you got to read the whole entire uh, uh, economy, the, uh, the whole entire, you know, uh, markets across the world from China to UK to DAX to US to whatever. If you want to go and beat Mike Tyson up, you can't just wake up one morning, drink some raw eggs, go out running around the block and say, okay, I'm ready now. Let's go, Tyson, let's go kick some ass, right? I mean, come on. How old are you? <laughs> yeah. Let's grow up. Let's be realistic here, right? And that's why at Patreon.com, what I do is I mentor guys. I, you see it in real time, okay? Uh, Teaching it on an individual basis is difficult because you guys have a lot of rocks in your head. You guys are trying to incorporate what I do with this junk in here, and then you're like, oh, it's not working. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this. You know, look at these arrows. Oh, something about waves. Uh, no, no, no. This does not work. <laughs> if it worked, everybody, all those 120,000 people that are following this guy would be all fucking making money left hand. Uh, left right and center and i promise you not even this guy is making money okay i'm telling you that right now this guy is not making money doing this garbage this guy is making money from selling stories that's what he's doing all right so let's continue so then we look at the uh, nifty 50 okay as you can see uh, it's broken down from this structure down back up broke the previous high coming back down and it's starting to fall apart looking for lower Okay, so all the charts that we've looked so far, they're hanging out in the middle of nowhere looking to go down. Okay, and even you can see it here, it's starting to weaken. All right, so let's continue. Here's the uh, Russell 2000. Okay, had a nice little pop, created this structure going up. All right, one, two, three, broke down, popped up, tested. This is what's called the break test go. Okay, test it. And then what? Boom, straight down. Now, popping back up again, but it's not even making it to the top. It's, it's finding resistance right at the previous high. So what does this look like? Well, it's, it's, it's outside of this structure, right? So it's hanging out in here. Uh, more likely than not, 
this is also going to reverse and start going down. Okay. Let's look at Australia. Okay, perfect one, two, three down here, right? Did it whatever it had to do, then it started to correct back up. So what are we seeing here? Well, we're seeing an M pattern. Okay, it's a drop, pop, two. Okay, so what's the likely next move? Three down. Okay, it points one way, and it does the opposite. All right, so that's what this is looking bearish as well. Now remember that we are in almost mid mid September in here. Okay, this is where we are. So this is going on in September. All right, so let's fast forward now, and uh, I'm going to go much faster now because we're not gonna, we're going to be here forever. Um, so you saw what happened here. We had a head and shoulders, right? We, we had that structure that I was showing you before where we got that little pop below. And now you got that structure below a structure. This is called the structure below a structure. What happened? It was pointing one way and boom. There it is. There it is. Now it's starting to fall apart. All the analysis that we did before this date, okay, was telling us that this was coming. So that's what I'm telling you. You got to learn how to read the chart, the price. And, and once you learn how to read it, 70% of the time, you're going to be able to see what's going to happen more likely than not uh, in the future. Here's another look of it. Okay. Drop, consolidation, drop again. All right. One, two, three. But the problem is that this one, two, three has broken out of this structure. So that means that the likelihood is we're coming down here. That's what the analysis is showing. Now, is it going to come in a straight line down here? No, nothing ever does. And that's why you cannot be myopic. You have to keep, you know, looking at the bigger picture, the macro picture. Fast forwarding, we created some of these uh, uh, head and shoulders. Okay, it's confirmed now. Nobody can deny it. Here's the, neck, le uh, the neckline. Okay, and these are areas of potential reversal. It doesn't mean it's going to go off to the moon. Okay, it, it, it can do that, but more likely than not, you might get something like this. Okay, and then you'll get the, the down move. So that's why I'm marking this area as a potential area where price can come, stall, bounce a little bit, and then continue on down. Remember, nothing comes straight down. Okay, it will do some funky shit until it gets to where it needs to get. At the same time, what happened here, right? Remember this? The fags? Well, the fags started to fall apart as well. Okay, so this is starting to go now. Okay, so you're watching this happen in real time, right? You're analyzing all the markets across the, uh, the entire planet and, and, and the market leaders and everything. You certainly have an understanding of the macro picture, okay? Macroeconomics, the macro picture. And that doesn't change from day to day. So once you have the macro understanding and then you take the charting the, the the price action the money flows and so forth and you start to contrast the two you can pretty much see what's going to happen uh next because believe me money managers with billions of dollars are not going to buy today and sell tomorrow it takes months for that shit to, to 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 put on a trade and then take off money months they're not little piker traders with a thousand dollars in an account oh, i'm buying oh i'm selling oh i'm buying again no 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 we are we are you know little little gnats flying around, and we can take advantage of this uh, you know this money flows. It takes such a long time to to play itself out. But everything is a fractal, right? You'll see the same pattern over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah, the shapes might be a little bit different, but the structures will generally be the same. Okay, so here's another fine example where we had these potential areas of reversal. Okay, right in here, and that's why I circled it, cir uh, circled it, okay, that eventually we're going to break down, but these are an area of potential reversal. So let's see what, what happens next. Okay, boom, boom, of course, of course it's going to happen. Okay, we're expecting that to happen. Um, and that's, again, it's the beauty of understanding charts. Look how high this, this thing popped all the way to the previous high here. All right, broke out of this trend line here. But the, the, see, this is another mistake people make. The breaking of a line in of itself does not mean a whole hell of a lot. 
That's support and resistance, guys. Okay, that, oh, we broke the lines. I'm going to stop, stop. No, no, no. It has to break the structure. That's the key. It has to break the structure. Okay? And I don't mean by just a little price through the line. The whole structure has to start falling apart. Okay, so now we fast forward. Okay? So we have the head and shoulders. This is a bigger time frame. We had that area where it tested. It popped. And then what did it do? Boom, straight back down. <laughs> <laughs> see if you would have sat there and like said oh my god it crossed the line you know it crossed the line look at that it crossed the line you know and you just stopped out oh uh, and then boom straight back down uh now you're chasing okay so this is what i mean you need to learn to understand price okay so you got your little head and shoulders it was like this now it became a bigger one okay here's the new neckline right in here and it's starting to break down so everything looks fine. What did the fag start to do? Well, remember that the price was in here. It dropped, created this little uh, structure below a structure, dropped structure below a structure, and now it's starting to fa fail. Okay, before, remember, it used to look like this. All right, but I just changed it when, when, I, when I put it this way. All right, so the structure is pointing up, so sure enough, it starts to fall apart. It doesn't matter that it's a line. We don't care about the lines or... High, open, close, doesn't matter. What we care about is the structure. So here I show you the bigger picture. Okay, this is a daily. So we, this is the little head and shoulders that we had in here. Okay. Uh, what that little head and shoulders produced was this wedgy looking formation. And it's a lower low at the same time. So again, we are just in a bigger time frame saying, all right, this thing is going to move to the downside. All right. In case you're wondering what these uh, red circles are, when price in this structure, right, it's a one, two, three, and you have this structure. Okay, you see it. When price cannot effectively come up here and test this area, this is a sign of weakness. There's not enough buying. All right. And when there's not enough buying and it leaves a little open area at the top, it can be very small, very big. It, does, it doesn't matter. If, it cannot, if price cannot muster strength to come all the way to the top, that's a sign of weakness. And the sign of weakness only confirms that lower prices are coming. Now, if you, if you guys think that this stuff doesn't work in all time frames, uh, I'm, I'm going to disappoint you because it does. This is a five-second chart of the Nasdaq. Okay. So what happened is you got that uh, movement downwards where we completed the one, two, three, and then you got a nice big pop. Okay. Started to consolidate, went into this formation. Now, obviously there's more information that I look at than just a five second chart, but we went into this formation and I entered the trade live. And that's why I posted it on messenger. 100 units okay of the nasdaq 100 all right so this is what's going on here i'm showing that i just entered the trade the next thing that happens is here's the trade right in here okay and and this is not a trading signal okay just so we understand each other i have to show you in real time with my money what i'm doing because again it's one thing to talk about it another thing to do it in real time right but the other guys won't show you uh, they'll show you stories though so we have this formation here uh, usually there's a correction that comes all right so let's look at the next slide there it is oh look it's a one two three down and I'm up a thousand dollars and what is this this is a falling flag what happens with the falling flag you get a pop okay one, two, three, up. So what ended up happening is, as you can see, this is a five second chart. What ended up happening is you never got the three up, uh, the one, two, three up, right? You never got that. So what we got was instead was this right in here. So this is a deeper two. Uh, and then we were looking for the three down. Now, remember that the analysis is not done on a five second. The analysis is what we've been talking about for the past half hour, <laughs> where it started with the NASDAQ going down and dead, 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 and breaking the trend lines in the head and shoulders and all that stuff, okay? 
Uh, so please keep that in mind. It's not you can't go out and start looking at five second charts and uh, oh I'm going to become Buffett. No, no, no. <laughs> you have to have the background, the understanding, everything. In this case here, I'm looking to build a position so I can take it to the short side and make some money. Okay, that's the whole point of this. Now that it went before I was ready to put another hundred on, different story. Doesn't concern me. The fact is, I'm making money. And then the next slide, it continued to come on down even more. And then, you know, it just, that's the way it goes. All right, so this is a bigger picture. This is a whopping one minute chart now. <laughs> Some time has gone by. So you can see we had the, the, I'm sorry. Yeah, we had the drop. We had the pop. We're looking for maybe another one up. That didn't happen. Went sideways. It, it dropped, came back up, tested it. So we, now we have a one, two, three sideways. Okay. And, and this is what's called a flag, obviously. Okay. Uh, and, and at this point, uh, I'm up uh, $4,440. Price is starting to fall apart and so on. All right. So I think you guys get the, the point of what I'm trying to tell you. Um, so let's fast forward to today. Okay. What you are seeing in that little five second, what I've been talking about this whole entire time, um, is right in here, right in here. All right. So let me, let me show it to you in a smaller time. So this is what we were analyzing right in here. You see the little head and shoulders that popped up and down and so forth, right? And then you saw what ultimately happened. You got the drop, you got the pop, and then it started to fall apart, lower lows. All right. Uh, and now since we've done this movement back up. All right. So um, this is what I mean that you need to learn how to understand charts, how to read them. Um, all right. So uh, we'll finish it up with this. Um, this is the chart that I posted a little while back um, on Twitter. And uh, and I said, you know, that this, hmm, why is this like that? Let me come, there it goes. Um, that this structure right in here, okay, was going to resolve to the downside. Now, obviously, it's not going to do it in a straight shot. We had a lot of price movement, came down here, it did touch this support area now it bounced okay so now what do we have we have a one two three up what does this mean well this is going to start to reverse soon and why is this going to reverse well because this is a one this is a two and then you're going to get the three all right it's not going to happen in a straight shot so you know how high can it go it can come up this high okay easily likely no not probable Okay, possible. So when you look at the bigger picture, now you kind of have a better understanding why I'm telling you this, this is going to resolve to the downside. All right. More likely than not, that's what's going to happen 70% of the time. This over here is gray. Why? Because this has met the target. Okay. And now what's going to happen is we're going to meet the next target and then the next target, uh, if I'm right, and uh, it's going to take some time, but believe you me, uh, money flows don't lie, all right? And uh, you can look at all the macro uh, data in the world and all the correlation charts, and this is bad, and that sucks, and this is good, and that's even better. And you can look at all that stuff for 10 years, and it's never going to tell you what's going to happen in the future. The, the best leading indicator that we have are stocks, the markets. That's the best leading indicator that, that we have. And if you understand the macroeconomic picture and you understand charting and you know how to contrast them, then guess what? You can go fight Mike Tyson and your chances of winning are going to be 70%. And just as a little side note, okay, when this occurred right in here, I was short right in here. And it was like, oh, come on, we're at all-time highs. What are you talking about? Da, 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 da. You know, you're lucky. And then Trump said something stupid, and then this came down. They're like, oh, yeah. 
It's because of Trump saved you, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And then look what we got. Why? Because it's going to go one, two, three. That's the way markets move. Okay. All this over here, the subsequent is just noise within the structure. This structure will resolve to the downside 70%. And I don't give this information out. Uh, this is for my subscribers usually. But when I start seeing something big, uh, I come out, I say it. Like I said, go back to my old YouTube videos. I don't make a lot of them anymore. Uh, but when I do make them, uh, I'm usually uh, right. Okay. So pay attention. <laughs> That's my new thing. Pay attention. Pay attention. I'm telling you something. When I made my 15000 I'm sorry, my uh, uh, $5,000, $5,500, actually, uh, prediction uh, in Bitcoin, we had this formation setting up. And I said, this thing is going to go, and it'll probably go to 5500 And sure enough, guess where it went? Way below 5500 okay? Here's, uh, I think 5500 is somewhere in here. Okay, and then it ended up going all the way down about, uh, uh, what is this? Yeah, it's Bitcoin. One, about 3,000. Why is it saying seventh? Oh, this is the wrong one. Ah, <laughs> let me go back. Let me go back. I'm like, what the fuck? It looks the same, though. There it is. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I thought the line moved. All right, so here it is, right? Pop, drop, one, two, three, down. That's how it all started. It was up to 13,000, whatever, and I said it's going to go 5,500. And uh, good thing I caught that. Here's 65, and then here is the, uh, where is 55? 55 was right in here, okay? And I thought it would bounce from here. It went lower, obviously, 3,500, and then it started to recuperate. And I, I kept telling people, buy in here, buy in here. Anything below here, buy, 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 boom. <laughs> all right, huge fucking pop. A huge pop. So, um, yeah, again, it's all time stamped on YouTube. Can't can't say I didn't say. So, bare knuckle charting. That's what it's all about. Patreon.com slash BKC and Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Thank you, guys. Take care. And please, please, don't listen to these fucking clowns on uh, social media. This is fucking storytelling. This is garbage, okay? They put more and more shit on here just to confuse you. So you always feel like, oh, I almost got it. Oh, I think he knows. I know what he's going to say. Oh, I know this. These are all cute stories. This has nothing to do with you trading, investing, or, or, or making money in the markets. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. This is garbage. That's it. Take care. Bye-bye. Before this battle is over, the world will know that few stood against many.